Well, the results are in from the New Hampshire primary. Former President Donald Trump beating former Ambassador Nikki Haley. He got a little more than 54% of the vote with more than 90% of the votes reported. This is the second win for the president following the Iowa caucuses. And what does this all mean going forward as all eyes now turn to Nevada and South Carolina primaries in February? Here to help us break it all down is Republican strategist Pat Brady. Thanks for coming back. Okay, let's break this down in parts. First of all, overall, what does this mean for Nikki Haley? Uh, she's moving on to South Carolina. I mean, she did probably about as people expected. She's got some momentum coming out of this to say there is an alternative to Donald Trump as a nominee. They go down to South Carolina, her home state, where she's mm -hmm. very popular. And we have four week or three and a half weeks until the, uh, the votes are taken down there. And we'll see if she can make up some ground. Okay, but there's a lot of pressure on her to maybe call it quits, including from the Republican Party itself, right? Well, which is ridiculous. I was on the National Committee back in the day, and that's completely inappropriate. And what for, are they saying to her? They're saying that she needs to get out and unify behind, unify behind Trump. I mean, can you imagine? I can't imagine as party chairman or even around the National Committee having mm -hmm. done that. It's just way out of bounds. But he's the establishment candidate now. He's got all these people locked in. Ron McDaniel, the chairman of the RNC, has had her own issues. So she's just trying to curry favor with Trump and uh, keep her spot. So how is how important is this for the Republican Party to try to come together as soon as possible as it does appear that it could be another battle with you know the former president and President Biden once again? The problem the Republicans have now, it, it, Trump's got his cult of followers, that the 35 percent that follow him. But last night was a real warning sign that a real high percentage of those that voted for Haley so they won't vote for Trump if he's the nominee. He's the worst general election candidate the Republicans put, can put up. And, and the, the trickle-down effect of having a horrible candidate at the top of the ticket like Trump and the rest of the races throughout the country, even here in Illinois, mm -hmm. it's just, it's just a, a bad sign. He, he, he's just... He's been horrible electorally for the Republicans. But he's winning big so far, and the polls keep showing him way ahead. Do you think we're going to see a significant difference come February when these next uh, primaries take place? Well, as a lifelong Republican, I hope so, because I'd like to win the White House back and maintain control of Congress. But if Trump's at the top of the ticket, we probably won't do either. He is so tremendously disliked by anybody outside his base mm -hmm. that he won't win. Okay, and there's going to be a big third-party movement. If Nikki Haley's out, there's going to be a couple is. big third-party okay, movements. Okay, but I was going to say, you keep saying that, but he keeps winning by huge numbers. No, he didn't win by huge numbers last night, and it's only two primaries, and only 200,000 mm -hmm. people have voted. But the so. polls show a significant National difference. National polls don't matter. Okay, uh, so, so moving forward, what needs to happen to continue to make this a two-person uh, nominee race? She's got to do win or do very well in South Carolina. Then we go to Super Tuesday, which mm -hmm. is March 5th, and that'll probably wrap it up one way or another. But yeah, don't get me wrong, Trump's the clear front runner right now. It looks like it's his, but I think it's completely inappropriate for the party people to tell Nikki Haley to get out. She's run a good campaign. She's got a very appealing message. She's a young woman that represents something different than Donald Trump, so they should give her a chance and stay out of it. And isn't it interesting that Biden won? <laughs> considering he really wasn't done. Uh... Yeah, actually, Joe Biden had a pretty good night because mm -hmm. the majority of the people that didn't even vote for him said they will support him, whereas Trump, pe the, the people that voted for Haley, mm -hmm. as I said before, won't vote for him. So Biden had a pretty good night. But, the, you know, there's two horrible choices here. Mm -hmm. And as we talked the other day, 7 and 10 don't want this. So it's, it's kind of a mess. Yeah. Well, we are keeping a close eye. Always appreciate you coming Anytime. in, too. Look forward to talking to you again. Yeah.